Also breaking tonight, police in Riverdale are still looking for the man accused of killing two people and abducting a one year old. Rob Sneed is outside the 6th District Police Station in Chicago with the very latest. Rob. That man is Clarence Hebron, and as police search for that man tonight, the family of the two victims involved, Jessica and Damian Beal, brother and sister, uh, that family is having a vigil just a few blocks away from where I'm standing. So many tears, so many emotions tonight as they come to grips with the fact that uh, Jessica's son will be uh, have to live without a mother. That's my baby. Oh my, God. Not my son. I ain't got no mama no more. What's the message you want to give? The message is real. I just want justice for you, Jessica. Please. That's for Jessica. Yes, That's what we want. Can't we just get yes, justice for you, Rose? Justice for Jessica. Let's hurry up, please. Angie. This jacket I got on for a birthday gift. Mm -hmm. They ain't they call me, wish me happy birthday. They ain't didn't deserve this. They ain't do nothing to nobody. They just lost their mama not too long ago, y'all. You can hear that emotion tonight. Now the search is on for Clarence Hebron. He's five foot six and weighs 135 pounds. He's driving a silver Dodge Caravan license plate CA 96676. An eruption of tears and heartache as police investigated a homicide on the 14,000 block of Tracy Avenue. A one year old boy was abducted and police believe that that boy's father took him from the home, but police issued an Amber Alert and has since canceled it uh, when the child was turned in around five o'clock this evening. Now, this is not the first time that he's had a run in with the law. Just last April, he was running from police when he crashed into a woman on the 400 block of West 59th Street and killed her. And again, tonight, anyone with any information is asked to contact police if you know where his whereabouts are. Reporting live on the city's south side, Rob Sneed, WGN News. Okay, Rob, thanks so much. Pandemic.